baby. Bro. Ready to see this movie? Yeah, yeah. Bad boys. This shit been a long time since one of these been up. It ain't old as crap. Yeah. Well, shit. That's what they talking about. Man, I told you that food was gonna be tight. He's like, Mike, Mike, no! <laughs> tell you I'll be a hat, man. You ain't like the move? It's cool. It's cool. It's ready to go. I'm not sure how to say this. I mean, shh. You say whatever it is. Go ahead and say what's on your mind. I don't think it's working out between us. Like, we just not on the same level. Like, we growing apart. Yeah, I ain't feeling it. And I don't want to keep wasting time and see what it's going to lead to. So, I think it's just best that we just go our separate ways at this point. I know you say something like this. You sure that's what you want to do? Yeah. All right, fine. I have something for you. Just a small letter about how I was feeling. Go open it whenever you get ready. All right, I will. All right, take care. All right, you too. Hey. Love you. Tonight, this is the aftermath of a car that wrecked, going speeds in excess of more than 130 miles an hour. State Patrol says they got calls of the Dodge Challenger driving fast, making unsafe lane changes, later crashing just west of Wolcott. That driver, 31 year old, was treated for minor injuries before being booked in Eagle County for driving under the influence, reckless driving, and reckless endangerment. What was that, man? Yo, yo, yo Kelly, what's up, Nick? Yo, 
Man, about time your boy showed up. Hey, what? Hey, yo, man, let me go get you. Let me go see what's up with man. What's up, man? What's up, boy? Chill, man. Chill, man. Straight. Yeah, I'm good, man. All right. Yo, Lowe's, what up, boy? What's up, Billy? Yeah, all right, man. What's up, boy? What's up, man? Yeah, sure, got it. You good, man? Oh. You good? Yeah, I'm straight, man. What's up, man? Damn, boy, I'm glad to be out there, man. For real. Man, me too, man. I'm glad you're alive, bro. You straight? It could been a lot worse. Matter of fact, you seen your car lately? Hell yeah, no, you got a picture of it? I got the picture right here. Damn! Shit, hopefully that insurance kick in, man. I'll get something new. Man, you don't need to worry about that right now, man. One thing you need to worry about, getting right. You talking to your girl lately? Nah, man, I ain't, I ain't talking to her, man. The night I crash, yo, she gonna tell me we ain't on the same level or something like that, bro. Nah, man, one phone call won't hurt, man. Nah, man, I ain't calling her, man. I don't, I don't need no, no self-pity or none of that right now, man. It ain't gonna hurt. One phone call won't hurt. For real. Just call him, bro. Faith-based interventions, Billy. Can you tell me what brings you to my office today? Mm, just here because the court recommended that I come here. Oh, okay. So the court's mandated that you seek counseling. Why is that? Mm, I don't know. It's crashed my car. Mm. Were you drunk when you crashed your car? Nah, nah, I wasn't drunk, but uh, I was just uh upset about something that had just happened between me and my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Let's explore that a bit. So, can you tell me what happened with your girlfriend? Well, uh, we was chilling and started talking and um, she broke up with me. So, at that moment, I really didn't care and I got upset and I just got in the car and sped off. So, Billy, you're saying that when you're angry, you no longer care about yourself, your life, or the safety of yourself and others? Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, but, you know, it's like a lot of times I have a hard time controlling my own emotions sometimes. You know, I just let it get the best of me, let it control me. You know, it's, sometimes I don't, I don't know what to do, so I just... Do what I know how. You know what? That's really brave of you to admit that. Um, I know that breakups are hard. Um, we've all been through them, and it's something that you can get through. And I'm here to support you in doing that, so you can learn to better control your emotions. Okay. Well, Billy, I have something here for you that I'd like you to read. It's called Emotional Intelligence. I think it'll be a great tool for helping you to start on this new journey of controlling your emotions. What is this about? So this book will give you tips and directions and advice on how to apply the knowledge in the book to your real life and learn how to better control your emotions. I appreciate it. Appreciate the book. I'm gonna go uh, check it out. You know, I appreciate your time. Hopefully, I uh, we can talk soon. If anything else comes up, thanks.
think it's working out between us. I know you say something like this. Chill out, free. It ain't that serious, man. What's up, boy? What's up, man? Hey! What's up, man? Man, chill it, man. How your leg, man? So I finally got rid of those man. Oh, yeah, that's what's up, man. Hey, yo, check it out. Me and the homies going to the city, man, trying to find out if we're trying to roll. Just hang on with all that, man. Man, listen. Between the car accident and the breakup, might need to go out, man, just to have a little bit of fun. Shit, speaking of her, I talked to the other night, yo. Word? Yeah, it was real quick, but uh, I asked her to meet up with me this weekend. And she agreed? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this dude here. Nah, man, I'm happy for you. I hope everything go well. Shit, word. Appreciate that, bro. Hey, it's all really? love. It's all love. Hey, you good, though? Hey, man, how that if you need me, man. I'm about to get this workout in. All right, bet. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? What you do to your hair, man? I colored it. What you do to yours? A little something, something, man. <laughs> you all right? Come sit down with me over here. All right. You all right? Yeah, my stomach just been bothering me lately, but I'm good. I'm okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I guess what? What? I bought me another car. What? <laughs> what kind? Yeah, I got another challenge. Challenge? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Challenges. Yeah, you know I gotta keep it in the Dodge family. So what's so up with you? The night you crashed, you know, really been bothering me. Just thinking how life would be without you. So why didn't you call me? I just didn't know how you were thinking, what frame of mind you were in. I was frustrated, I was hurt, you know, so you know, soon after that, I just started trying to find ways to better myself, you know. I even went to counseling and all. What? That's what's up. I'm proud of you. Yeah, so ever since then, you know, it's just been work, work. You know what I think you need? What's that? I need to get out a little bit more. <laughs> Got anything in mind? Um, I think there is a concert going on tonight. Oh yeah? Who's the artist? Ooh. It's a gospel concert. <laughs> so... We gotta dress up like we're going to church. <laughs> Silly. No. Alright, cool. So, um, I'm gonna go take a shower. Just call me whenever you're ready. Bet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. <coughs> What's the 
figured out so what do you want to do i'm not having an abortion let's have our baby work things out between us mm -hmm. give me a kiss time to come by the office today. Yeah, sure. Give him like an hour. Okay, that sounds good. All right. Hey, what's up, Bill? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Chill, man. Chill, chill. 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 Chill, What's going to do, you know what? I know about all that, man. Yeah. She got your kid, man. Me too. You playing no deal? Hell no. Why ain't that? Don't stop me, man. Word, word. Hey, remember buddy that got arrested for robbing those banks, though? Yeah. Bro, he stabbed Cordy Mill, bro, before he got locked up. Her? Yeah. I don't know where he did with it, though, but it's around, man. Too. Well, yeah. I can have that, man. Hey, I see you later, man. I gotta go meet this dude, man. Oh, man. All right, man. All right. And let me know when you want to do that, though. Come in. What's up, Mr. Rivers? You want to see me? Yeah, come on in. Have a seat. So, what's up? Everything all right? 
Yeah, everything's all right. I got a couple questions for you, man. How are things going here for you at work? Um, I mean, they're going. Um, some days better than the others, you know, but it's gone. Yeah, I can understand that, man, but I've been getting a lot of complaints about you, man, the way you interacted with other people, man. You, your attitude is kind of nasty, bro, and uh, it's not good for the other workers here. I mean, you know, I've been going through a lot this past month. Um, so some of the things that you mentioned are some of the things that I'm actually working on right now, you know, trying to get better with. You know, I ain't trying to make no excuses or nothing like that, but that's what's going on. Yeah, well, let me tell you what, man, I can understand that. But listen, here at this place, we try to really bring a positive attitude here every day, man. And with your attitude, man, it's just, you know, that's not working here. So what we decided to do, man, I'm going to place you on suspended suspension without pay. Like for what? Because I got a disagreement with a co-worker about a job that y'all paid me to do? It's continuously you and another co-worker, you and your attitude. And it's happening over and over again. Man, I had a job, man. I quit. Yo, man. Yeah, I look there. Ain't nothing there. All right, man. I'm about to look some more. All right. Damn, where that money at? We need to talk. Last time we talked, it was breaking up with me. Sure. What is this? It's a lot of money, that's what that is. I know. I found it in your box cleaning up. Oh. Uh, you found it in my emergency stash. Every time I get paid, you know, I take a little something on my check, put it in there, just in case for something that we need. Just making sure you ain't doing nothing illegal. You know me better than that, man. I mean, why you thinking that? Joe, there is something I need to do with this money. I'll be back. Where you going? I'll be back. At least I'm here. Yeah. $10? Yeah. What's this? 
Yeah, you too, all right? See you later. Everything nice, right, man. Yeah, that, that thing big. That rock big too, you know man. So you gonna pop the question? I don't know. But it's gonna be soon, real soon. All right, man. That's what's up, man. Well, look, when I get the wedding date, time, place, everything, definitely gonna let you know. Oh yeah, man. You already know I'm in there. My bro, man. Wanna be in? All right. Bet. What's up, man? Just filling out some of these uh, job applications, dog. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll let you know what's up. Alright, peace. Yeah, this is him. Oh, yeah? Okay. Right now? Alright, I'll be there soon. Okay. Okay, thanks. Hey, everything alright? I don't know, my car won't start. Has it done it before? No, I went to the restaurant to go get some food and before I go back to work and I won't start. Speaking of work, I got a job interview in like, like 30 minutes, but I'll take a look at it. Thank you. 
So what's your name? Uh, I'm Billy. Billy Ray. What about you? Lisa Davenport. Alright. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, um, where'd you say your interview was? Uh, it's at a place called Boykin Productions. Uh, it's next to Burrito for Nails. Ah, sounds good. Uh, what did you do before that? I was, uh, I was working construction. You know, building stuff here and there. That's pretty, I'm pretty good with my hands. That's a good trait to have, especially as a man. Why did you leave your job before? To be honest, I was, I was going through a lot. You know, I had a breakup. I got in a car accident. Um, I was going to counseling. You know, it was just a lot to juggle at one time, you know. Now my girlfriend, she's pregnant, and I plan on marrying her. So I got to make sure I kill this interview. Congratulations. Yeah, appreciate it. I'm sure you'll do great. You seem like a well put together young man, headed in the right direction. All right, try it now. Wow, you did that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, told you I was good with my hands. Yes, yes you did. Um, is there anything that I can do for you? Nah, you know, I appreciate the encouragement. You know, that's good enough. Well, I happen to be the HR personnel for that company that you're interviewing for. Thanks so much for your help. I'll make sure I put in a good word for you. All right, I appreciate it. You have a good day, all right? You too, Mr. Billy Ray. All right, thanks. Hello? Hey, what's up? What you doing? Hi, babe. In the store, looking at some baby stuff. Yo, guess what? What is it? I got the job. Quit lying. For real? For real? Yeah. When you start? Don't worry about all that. I got another surprise. Uh-oh. What is it? We move. Where? Being the summertime come, you know, you want to be free, uh, you know, might want to wear your tank tops and, you know, just, just be free. That clean, summer, fresh air. I to marry me though. For real? Yeah. What's he like? Right now, so he back. Hold up. He job ass. Yeah. Don't make yeah. me say it anymore. Hey, don't hey. wanna play anymore. No. Don't wanna no. say anymore. Uh -oh. I just he job ass. Yeah. Don't make yeah. me say it. Chanel shit, wash and set, manicure with the gel tips, mean complexion, light skin, caramel mix. Got me licking my lips, that Uncle L shit on everything. That's how stunning she look. Mean heels on, 3,500 a foot. They all surprised, like, damn, he ain't come with the crooks. I think tonight is definitely gonna be one for the books. books.
you put a smile on my face And if the day's a disappointment I think of you and I'm okay See what I'm trying to tell you I want all those to see That you're my world of precious treasure That's what you are to me Oh yeah Ooh, I never, I never felt this way I pronounce that they are husband and wife together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You may salute your brother. I wouldn't 